Welcome back everybody. So here we are at Pharaoh Tower. Uh, we are now in a good position to start collecting these ingredients before the first blood moon. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of head north, northeast, onto this little ledge. And uh, note to self, there's going to be a couple of lizzles you'll want a higher powered bow for. And we should be able to kill at least one of them from the air. Assuming you can't actually get the headshot, I kept missing. And you'll probably want a higher powered uh, weapon. Got some free hard hardy durings just laying there for you. Free for the taking. Uh, I don't recommend that spear, it's not very durable. Got some more loose weapons sitting here if you need them. Alright, so lots of hardy durian trees here. Uh, I recommend just using bombs, uh, makes for quicker collection. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier on, but we're going to need lots and lots of firewood in this game, about 150 bundles. So my recommendation, uh, if you're knocking down trees anyway, you might as well go ahead and finish blowing them up for your firewood. You're going to need 110 bundles for Terrytown, which is a village you're going to build from the ground up. And you're going to need another 30 for uh, Link's house, Hillian Homeowner. And uh, that's important because you can store weaponry in your house. Kind of like an armory. So lots of hardy durian trees here for the taking, as you can see so far. Uh, every now and again you'll get some lizards here too, but... To be honest, I'm not really too concerned about creeping around at the moment. Okay, there's a croc seed here as well. You got a couple of offering trees here. One's already got a hardy durian in it. Alright, what else do we have? Uh, you got a little hole in the ground here. There's a Staminoca bass swimming around in there. We got some more hardy durian trees. Oops. Some trees have one, some have two, so do be aware of that. Uh, always make sure you collect everything that drops. Oh yeah, this is why I wanted those octo balloons. Well, I'm gonna deal with him first. Octo balloons, so that you can pick things like this up with ease, and you don't have to worry about trashing your weapon systems. You just simply throw a balloon onto your object, it lifts up, hassle-free. Oh yeah, there's a hardy radish in there, as you can just see. That's another cooking pot. Just make sure, if you're going to use balloons to pick up things like that, Make sure that you get in, get what you need, and get out before the balloon pops and that thing comes crashing down on top of your nugget. Yep. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this ledge. Uh, if it's not raining in your game, now's a great time to get up here. Um, actually, I'll show you guys a little cheat so that you're not chewing up all your stamina trying to get up here. Uh, climb this bird statue and that'll give you a head start on this cliff because that is quite a climb. If it is raining in your games, forget about it. You're not going to make it. And if you do, it's going to cost you a lot of meals of stamina. The reason I'm making this climb, even though it's rather time consuming, uh, there's more hardy durian trees up here, and every hardy durian counts. Uh, five per meal will get you 20 extra hearts, 
Uh, during a blood moon, that'll be a total of 21. You'll get one extra during a blood moon meal. And just to make sure I don't have a blood moon yet, I'll get up here and see what kind of moon we got. Nope, no blood moon. Good deal. Uh, you'll oftentimes see lizards and beetles up here, so it might be worth just taking a quick peek at these trees as you approach. Although I'm not having any luck so far. Okay, so another big hearty radish. Cooking pot. Alright, so here's a Hanox. Once we get that suit completed, we're going to kill him very easily. With our bone attack up bonus. And I could use bombs here, but yeah, let's not. I don't want to wake him up by accident. Uh, don't super speed here, by the way. Just walk normal speed, because if you sprint, it'll wake him up for sure. Uh, you can sprint if you're far enough away from him like this. That would be okay. Ooh, there's a uh, hardy lizard there, but he got away. It's They're blue, and they're usually just sitting in the grass, but... Moving on! That wasn't smart. Okay, now we're not going to climb all the way up, so just to show you where we were, that's where that Hanox was. Uh, just... For map reference what we're doing here okay now we're gonna go right about here in these little trees now stay away from the top there's a, another lionel up there we do not want to mess with that lionel uh we'll come back and kill him later on but for now we're just worried about the hardy durians and the big hardy radishes and there's another big hardy radish right around here somewhere it's actually right there in those trees so i'll tell you what i will go ahead and climb this cliff just to make getting over there a little easier. This is going to be a great time to use one of those bailout doses. Just a little sliver of heart, uh, stamina replenishment is all you're going to need. Okay, there's that Lionel. I don't know if you can see him on my screen or not, but he's out there running around, so just steer clear of him. And... Big hearty radish right here. Okay, now, uh, what else are we up here for? We are here for... This waterfall right here. That is going to be the second piece of that uh, Phantom Ganon armor set. And the third piece, where the heck is that? I want to say it's at the end of this bridge somewhere. Next to another bird statue. So those are the two pieces of the Phantom set. I'm not in a big hurry to get those. Right now I'm just more concerned about the food ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of complete running around this top part here. There's some more hardy durian, some more uh, big hardy radishes. Then we're going to warp back over to our tower and we're going to go get lots and lots of... Uh, Um, God, I'm brain farting. Mighty bananas, that's it. Jeez. That one hurt. I had to work to get that one out. Okay, there's a beetle on that tree. It's one I don't really care about.
All right, so just for the map, uh, you're going to see two spots where there's three trees in a row. Both of those are Karak seeds, and both of those sets are hardy durians. Pretty awesome. The only bad thing is it's usually thunderstorming over here, because uh, there's a, a shrine quest called Song of Storms, and unfortunately a lot of times lightning will put down one of your trees before you have a chance to make it a Karak, which is unfortunate. So just like with the apple trees, match the fruit. Get your crack, and then we'll finish harvesting, harvesting the trees for the uh, hardy durians. Okay, some more little goodies down here on this island area, just on the map here. We're just south of that mountaintop, plateau, whatever. Got some sunken treasure. Nothing too elaborate, just 50 rupees. But behind this false wall, that's where some real goodies are. Burner bow and bomb arrows. And I try to aim for the middle. Sometimes you can get them all in one blast, but... More often than not, you'll be spending multiple bomb arrows getting those down. But as you can see, very lucrative. I got a sapphire out of that batch. Always take the time to kill these guys, by the way. Uh, this chew jelly will come in handy not only for uh, cooking, but for suit upgrades as well. And the good thing about that is if you're, say, low on fire chew jelly, and you need them for a suit upgrade, you can just throw a fire on the ground and throw some chew jelly into the fire, and voila, you'll have some fire chew jelly. Okay, I already hear the thunder, so I may not get this next Karak seed. Uh, that's okay, I'll get the hardy durians regardless. But, uh, that's where I'm heading, right down there. And since I'm up here, I'm actually just going to go ahead and do the shrine quest. And it's kind of a judgment call, depending on how long it took you to get here. Uh, lightning is going to be attracted by metal. So just unequip anything metal. And what we're going to do is we're going to put something metal on top of that little false-looking mountaintop. And that's going to call down lightning, and that will activate a shrine. And that's going to be a piece of the uh, rubber armor in there. And I'm just going to use a trash weapon that I don't care about. This little boomerang would work perfectly for this. We're going to put that bad boy right up there. Doesn't look like I have any lightning coming just yet. It should start, like, sparking, getting all frizzy. It's not doing anything yet. Might have to be a little patient with it, but it'll eventually start sparking for you. And just make sure it's up over that mountain peak when it does. Or you could probably just set it down up there. You don't necessarily have to keep holding on to it. Come on. I don't have all day. There's also a uh, croc block in that lake. If you don't have anything metal on you, you can always pull that up out of the lake and use that instead. That just takes more time. But this is not going fast. Normally you'll start sparking... Come on! I'm just gonna leave it up there, see what happens. So yeah, that metal block is down there in the water somewhere. It's 
not lighting up. Must be too far away from it. So how do you climb in the rain? Oh, it's sparking. I don't know if you guys saw that on your screens or not, but uh, it looks like rain going upside down or up toward the sky, little pieces of light. It's hard to describe, but uh, either way, that's all you got to do. So we're just going to activate our travel portal and we're going to continue on with our ingredients gathering. Okay, so there should be another, there it is, Big Hearty Radish. And there's one more down here, and we'll see if weather permits us getting this Karak seed or not. If lightning cuts down a tree, then it's just bad luck, I guess. Oh, looks like I might get lucky and get the croc after all. Sweet. Alright, and our big hearty radish. Last but not least. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this little round. We're gonna head back toward our tower. Let me just get my firewood that I worked so hard for. And uh, we'll meet back up at the tower, folks. Oh wait, standby. Don't do that. We're gonna warp to our warp point here and we're gonna go get that uh, piece of armor really quick since we've gotten this far. We might as well. We bypassed a ton of treasure and croc seeds, by the way. Uh, there's very, very good condensed amount of treasure in the rainforest here. And I'll walk you through that too, because it's a really great place to go searching for treasure. Okay, so I'm going toward my blue pin now. Jumped the gun on that one. All right, where you at? One more piece, folks. Then we'll 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 have that bone attack up going for us. Uh, there's a croc seed here. We might as well get it. There's a luminous stone perched in one of the eyeballs of the statue. You pick up the luminous stone, croc appears. Alright folks, let's head on over to our tower. We'll meet back up and we'll go on for round two of our rainforest walkthrough.